Hello viewers, welcome back to another section of my YouTube channel tutorial videos. Please subscribe if this is the first time you are visiting this channel. Now in this video, we are going to talk about separable differential equation. We've done the first order linear differential equation in our previous video. Kindly press on the notification button so that you get notified when I post subsequent videos. So, separable differential equation is a form of first order differential equations. This has its own technique and a way of solving. So, stay tuned and watch this video to the end so that you understand every part. Every type of differential equation has its own standard form. Separable has a standard form to be this n of y dy on the x is equal to m of x. As the name denotes separable, meaning that variables have been separated into its parts or has been separated into different regions. The y is on one side and the x is on the other side. But in separable, the dy is attached to the y side and probably you can multiply the dx to this side. Now, how do we solve for separable differential equation? I've told you that differential equation simply means making the dy, the y here, which is the dependent variable, stand there alone. So we just want to remove this derivative from our equation. So how do we do that? Now let's see. We are going to get n of y dy. Then I will multiply my dx to this side to give me m of x. Multiplying the x So at this point I'll take integral on both sides of my equation to so realize that when I integrate this with respect to y I will get function of what y Plus a constant maybe k And when I integrate this part with respect to x, I'll get a function of x Then my constant of integration may be c And at this point, there is no derivative inside And take note, separable differential equation is a type of differential equation Mostly, the solutions are in implicit form That is Normally, you can't express the solution as y is equal to, so it is lived in the implicit form. Now, let's take a nice example to see how we can solve the parable differential equations. So, let's see. I have the y. On the x. is equal to 6 y squared then x why will I see that this equation is separable I told you that in separable there is groupings but you realize that I have 6 y squared and x but there will be product of functions in separable this the x here can be multiplied here this 6y squared can be separated. You see, whenever there is division, that separation is easier, right? So now, we will rearrange this function here to look like the standard form. So I'll get, I'll multiply this so that I'll get my dy here. To be equal to my 6 y squared x dx so when i get this 
x and the x are now grouped i will move this 6y squared here so i'll divide through by 6y squared and obviously i'll get 1 over 6 y squared dy is equal to x dx so after this separation our goal is towards remove the derivatives and from our tutorial here you realize that you take integral on both sides when you take this integral on both sides you just solve it as you've done in calculus 1 over 6y squared 6y how do we integrate this so let's see so when you have something like this you can express it as integral of y to the power negative 2 but this 6 is a constant so it will stand out of our integration so once you get this you know that you add plus 1 here then we divide through by the resultant of negative 2 plus 1 then whatever you get you add the constant so it's maybe a constant k for this side so let's simplify so this will give me negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 so I'll get 1 over 6 y to the power negative 1 multiplying or oh sorry divided by negative 1 so I will bring that negative here then plus k that is for my left side is equal to on my right side if you integrate x with respect to the x you are going to get x squared over 2 that is a basic integration x squared over 2 then plus our constant c take note the constants on both sides cannot be the same because we have different integrals so they will give different constants at this point the constant and the constant will combine since they are unknown you choose only one constant to represent them so let's say k so let's see how it will be at this point i'm going to have negative y to the power negative 1 over 6 is equal to s squared over 2 then the k and the c it will be c minus k but let's represent the two efforts c whenever you add a constant to a constant since they are unknown you choose only one constant c and at this point we have to make y the subject so at from here you can see that we will let me remove all the denominators so i have six here i have two here so now i'll cross multiply here and i'm going to get this is the same as negative one over 6y is equal to s squared on 2 plus c so I can now interchange the position of this and this whole part from division I can bring this one here and bring this one here so I'll be getting negative 
1 over so let's see negative 1 over so here is 6y so I'm going to make it S squared on two plus C will be equal to six Y. So with this I will divide through by 6 so that I'm going to get when I divide through by 6 I will get the 6 multiplying this side and dividing so here over 6 so it will cancel it out but when I divide here by 6, it will multiply the denominator. Take note, when you multiply the constant by number or anything, it's 2c. So, when you multiply here by 6, it will cancel. And you are going to get 3. So, the 2 will go into itself 1 and it will go here 3. So, our y will simply be equal to 1. Sorry, negative one so i'm going to have negative one all over three s squared plus c so the problem is very short and it's simple just that you need to be familiar with how to simplify expressions and i believe you've done algebraic expression in your elementary schools thank you for watching me and please subscribe you share and you like join me in the next video as we'll be going through the extra differential equation